Today we're going to show you how to install the Hilly clutch onto your LO206. We're going to mount this clutch in the outboard position. That's so that the driver is closest to the seat. If we were to mount an inboard, it would be with the driver closest to the engine. The first thing I like to do is put just a little dab of Never Seize onto the crankshaft. Just a few spots. Smear that around with my fingers. Just enough to keep any surface rust from coming on, especially if you race in inclement weather. Next, we'll install the radius washer. This is an important step. You'll see that the radius washer has a chamfer machined into one side of it. That chamfer needs to go in against the radius on the crank that's been machined there for strength. And I like to rotate it as I push it across the crankshaft itself. Then we'll use a chrome thrust washer. Then we're ready for our clutch. I've gone ahead and taken the liberty to assemble this clutch. This particular one is going to be set up so that we're going to run it outboard and we're going to run it in a very gradual engagement. Uh, that's so that the shoes are trailing. You'll see that the driving dogs or lugs of the drive hub are going to pull the shoe so that the heel of the shoe is being pulled around. We're going to rotate that so it fits up. As that engine rotates, it'll go in this direction counterclockwise as we're looking at it and those driving dogs will pull the shoes. Next will be the spring retaining washer. That keeps your springs from backing out. Then we have a grease trap or a dust tray. And what this is going to do is keep all the grease that might migrate from your bearings in from on the friction surfaces. This has to be located with the sprocket side facing the sprocket, being outboard so it'll be facing out. Then we'll install one more chrome washer, followed by the inner race. Next, we'll put our fully loaded drum into place. This already has the 440 screw installed with the proper snap ring on our bully driver. With just a light coating of grease on the bearing. At this point, you'll want to check to see how much the inner race sticks out over the bearing. Sometimes you have to push that bearing in just slightly. And you'll see that there's no need for an additional washer. There are 30,000 shims. If we were to need to, we could put that in place. But we won't need to for this application. You'll also notice that the clutch overhangs the end of the crankshaft slightly. On this one, it's about 3 16 of an inch. So before we put our hardware on to install this clutch so that it doesn't come off, we want to make a shim either out of two 5 16 AN washers stacked, or what I like to use is just a 5 16 lock washer as a shim. And I'll place them on the retaining bolt in this order. First the lock washer, then the retaining washer, and then our shim, whether you use AN washers or another lock washer. A little bit of never seize on the threads sure helps because you're going to be taking this apart each week to do your maintenance on the clutch. We'll get it started in there, and then I like to lightly run an impact in. And we'll check end play on the basket, and we've got about 30 thousandths of end play right there. And that's about where I'd like it, maybe 25 to 30 thousandths. Uh, any more than that, and I would go ahead and put a shim in place and try to get that back down. That's pretty much it. It's a very simple installation. Uh, you can check out our other video that has an inboard installation of the same style Billy clutch, uh, or Hilly clutch. And uh, yeah, the Hilliard Bully conversion that we call the Hilly. If you have any questions or need any parts for your LO206 kart racing program or Hilly clutches fully blueprinted, we'd be glad to help you at Carlson Motorsports. You can check out our Facebook page or go ahead and send us a message through, uh, through Facebook or through email or call the shop directly at 765-339-4407.